welcome to DB Handmaids. My, my name is Danielle. Today we're going to have a unique shopping experience. I am needing to do a tiny bit of hurricane prep shopping, plus I ran out of a particular yarn that I need. So we're going to do a shop with me slash hurricane prep. So I need water, I need gas, water, food, and yarn <laughs> for the essential things you need as a, a yarny who's about to go through a hurricane. So let's go. I got gas. Thankfully my car tank is not very big, but I have good gas mileage. It just, there was a wasp. I'm allergic. It's not a good time. So it's okay. We did it. It's done. Now we're at Aldi's. Hopefully they still have water because everyone is starting to panic. Bye. So who knows? Maybe all the toilet paper will be gone too. All right, let's go in. Aldi's was absolute chaos, but I will say, even for how busy it was, everyone was very cooperative and patient with one another because we all knew why we were there. Typically, it's not a very busy time to go grocery shopping, but we were all hurricane panic shopping together. So, <laughs> yeah, it was kind of insane and I, I didn't really feel comfortable filming people um, in the store, but um, now we've done our adulting. Now we're gonna go and do our fun part of our hurricane prep. <laughs> so let's go into Joanne's. So you've gotta be kidding that this is the one and only 24 seven cotton that they have in the store. And that's all that I really need. I am so freaking lucky. <laughs> so this is the first time that I have seen Woobles in my Joann's and I love how there's no price tag on them. Maybe just because they are so expensive they don't want to tell you how much it is. <laughs> So I am going to age myself a little bit. When I was younger, Juicy Couture was very, very, very popular. And so it's really random. I guess a lot of Y2K styles are coming back, but Juicy I thought was gone forever, but now they're back with yarn. Or a brand deal, I don't know. It's just so silly. <laughs> Oh my god. Wow. They're already getting rid of this? Holy. I almost cursed. You know what? Holy, you know what? Oh my god. And they're just thrown on here. How sad. How freaking sad. So we are back home where it is not a thousand degrees. <laughs> I got my supplies and we filled up the tank of gas. It's funny how like as soon as I said that I needed to go get gas, the light turned on on the way to the gas station. And mom, if you're watching, I know, I know, okay, I know. Don't wait till you're at a corner tank till you get your gas. Uh, well, you know what? When you have such great gas mileage, sometimes I feel like it's, I get to kind of cheat the system a little bit. But anyways, normally I don't wait that long. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this time I waited till the light turned on to go get gas. I got my one yarn, the Lion Brand 24-7 Mercerized Cotton. I feel like I showed quite a bit of restraint 
uh, at Joann's, if I do say so myself, because um, this is something that I am working or that I need for a video I'm working on currently. And I almost didn't leave with just that yarn because I saw in the clearance section the hanks of cotton yarn and also overwash merino wool yarn. The really pretty hanks of yarn that were being displayed last time I went to Joann's. They were in the clearance section just tossed and completely unraveled and they look like such a mess and it it was like looking at a puppy that was begging to be brought home from the pound or something like like I was gonna rescue them and bring them home with me but <laughs> that is not I do not have the room for that um, again live in an apartment don't have infinite space so um, I had to leave them at the store because if I didn't feel you know if I don't feel the need to buy something when it's fully available even when it's going on clearance I don't want to just buy it because it's going away I want to buy yarn with intention either buying yarn because I know I'm going to use it in other projects uh, because it's something that I use often like 100% cotton yarn that's either three or four weight that I use a lot for amigurumi or buying something that I have a specific project in mind um, which I know sometimes I'm guilty of not following my own rules but I try to follow them as much as I can unless if I have an absolute a thousand percent giddy feeling from seeing, touching, feeling, uh, being in the presence of a certain yarn, then yeah, I will get that. But it's gotta really be filling me with a lot of giddiness in order to get it. But anyways, all kidding aside for this video, I really do hope that whoever is uh, being affected by this hurricane, I hope everyone is safe. And even if you are not going to be hurt affected by this hurricane I hope that whatever you are going through that everyone is safe and healthy and that you're going to be okay especially with this heat um, that is a natural disaster in itself thank you so much for joining me today with uh, my hurricane prep <laughs> video um, if you really liked this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you loved my yarny and adulting shenanigans today <laughs> go ahead and hit subscribe and please stay safe happy and healthy and have a great day bye